I'm so glad that when trouble comes, that we serve a God who is able to deliver us from our trouble. For Jesus said, I have overcome the world. That means if he overcame the world, he overcame the trouble. That means that he overcame the problem. He overcame the burden. How did he do it? The Bible says he took on the troubles of the world on a hill called Calvary. There at Calvary's cross, he looked down at this troubled world and said, you might have been born of a woman and you're full of trouble. From the cross, he looked down and saw us engaged in an activity that brought about some trouble. He saw us getting ourselves in situations that brought about the trouble. There on the cross, Jesus looked down at us in our troubled state of mind, in our troubled, troubled state of being, and said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And then he hung his head and died. But not only that, when he died, the Bible says that he went down to the source of the trouble. That is, he went down into hell, confronted the devil himself, snatched the keys to the gates of hell, and said, trouble is no longer a problem for my people. Trouble is no longer an discouragement for my children. So from the cross, because Jesus gave his life, but the Bible says that after he came from hell, they went to the tomb thinking they'd find him there. But my Bible tells me that early Sunday morning, he reminded us that if we have to die for him, that one day we'll rise from our trouble and we'll be able to say we're still standing, we're still firm, we're still here. God is able to keep us standing. 